Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and this is a Lay Spirit Designs Artist Alley vlog. So pardon the road noise, we are clearly in the car and we are on our way up to Sacramento for SAC Anime Summer. It is our favorite show of the two shows they, well I guess they do three shows a year. Of the three shows they do a year, this one is our favorite and it's the biggest one of the three, that's for sure. And we are loaded to the brim with all of our stuff and the fact that Ryan got it to fit in the car is quite frankly a miracle. And if you watched the prep vlog, you'll know that I have been busting my ass for like the last couple of weeks on not only con prep, but also studio makeover. So we're getting out of town a little later than we would have liked, but we're gonna set up in the morning and I will see you guys in the morning. guys it is officially day one for sack anime summer and we are all ready and getting ready to leave the hotel room so we can go down and set up we usually try and dump all of our stuff at the con thursday night but we left town way too late for that so we have everything in the car and we have to go get the whole table set up and luckily for once we're not running behind it is like not even 8 30 yet and con doesn't open until i think noon today so we have time let's get going it is also oddly stormy out today. There's like a 50% chance of rain, and then like later in the afternoon, it's supposed to be completely clear. So I don't know what's going on. We are so early, there's not even a line yet. It took all the two hours that we had to set all this up. So it's all done. We've got a nice big L so we can kind of catch the traffic. Come in here, see some boys see all of our mystery bags, the debut of the desk mat, it's looking pretty good. Let's do day one. Day one. Day one. I was a good noodle this time and bought stuff to make sandwiches. Hooray for con expenses dwindling. I got to meet Lil Magic, one of my YouTube subscribers, and they brought me the cutest care package. Oh, a little friendship bracelet and the worm on a string. Oh my God, I can't wait to open this. Thank you for coming by. So in case you guys don't watch my prep vlogs, I made these stickers. And if you tell me that you watch my YouTube videos at a convention, I will give you one of these for free as long as I have stock. I have had so many of these given out today. I only have like nine left and it's only Friday, so. 
thank you guys for coming and saying hi. It really means the world to me. No gifts are ever expected, but I'm never gonna turn them down because I love you guys so much. Last few minutes, the squad's going to dinner. Good night, Booth. Sleep tight. See you for day two. Good morning, we are here and all ready for day two. We just took down everything covering up the booth and getting the final little bits and pieces set up so that we can sell today. day two of the booth. A good rule of thumb I found, if you have a day to kind of sit and see how things are doing in certain spots, the next day move things accordingly. So the tote bags were facing into the aisle and I noticed yesterday that they weren't doing quite as well. So I've had them now facing the front of the booth. So if you're coming up from the aisle, you can still see that there's tote bags there, but you come around to see everything else to see the designs on the front. Just a little tip for you guys.
there's like two and a half hours left of the con and I'm so tired and there's still tomorrow of course. I honestly regret doing the studio makeover right before this show. I should have known better. Good morning guys for day three. We are all packed up in the hotel room and getting ready to check out. And we're actually early enough. It is almost 7.30, con opens at 9.30 for VIPs. Uh, we're gonna go get some good breakfast. If you remember ready. last, if you remember last time in January, we had stopped at this place when we <laughs> did not understand how time worked and we're extremely late on Friday to set up but we're super early this time, so we should have plenty of time to enjoy our breakfast and get to the con early. And for the third morning in a row, it is raining. So strange. Wake up the booth. Good morning, my son. We're all ready for day three. Let's take a look around the booth and see what is low in stock and what has already sold out. So we have been selling many Nightcrawler stickers, many Mothmans. The cow did really well yesterday, shockingly. We sold out of all of the Mothman patches. Of course, we always sell lots of Mothman pins too. Lots of tiny pins. We sold out of all the pumpkins today. Sticker books did better on Saturday. I'm expecting more to go today. Everyone, of course, loves the chain of ladies. Washi tapes do well. Boys did well. This continues to be the most popular shaker charm of the new ones. And this is all we have left of mystery bags. This is just $10 ones. I think we just sold the last $20 ones and we ran by because the VIPs are in here now. Sticker sheets are doing well. Stickers are doing well. And I have not yet sold any of the desk mats, so come get a desk mat. So far, we're not quite on par for beating uh, Midsummer Scream. I don't know that we will at this show, but we are getting ready to at least meet the goal that we had for SAC Anime Winter of this year. So let's do day three. First sticker book design to sell up for the weekend is my least popular one. So thank you guys for taking these home. We're also sold out of all the mystery bags except for obviously the blind bag keychains, the deco stickers, and the $5 mystery B grade pins. The replacement ceremony. We have been selling so many boys in like the last 20 minutes. All freshly spanked.
the last loneliest boy who is going to take him home. There's about one hour left, and I didn't think we were even gonna get close to it, but we may, if we haven't already, we may possibly be beating the Midsummer Scream records. So stay tuned for the rest of the video where I talk about the profits and expenses from the show. Ryan, what did we just do? Sold all the periwinkles. All the boys went home. It is six o'clock, my friends. Time to tear down. We're gonna attempt it in one load, but we are all torn down, ready for some dinner. Thank you, Sack Anime! Back at Kura, one last time before we go home. Except there's no sushi. All right, sorry for the low light. Um, I'm filming this a lot later in the day than I hoped I would have. But welcome to the end of the video where I talk about the profits and expenses from the show. And I will touch on that in a moment though with a pie chart. And if you are new to my Artist Alley videos, I like to show a pie chart based in percentages of what I spent at the show and what I made at the show. But if you'd like to see the actual dollar amounts, you can see that when you pledge to my Patreon for $5 or more. And not only this one, but you can go back and see all of my other Artist Alley vlog expenses and details. So I would like to first say that you guys at SAC Anime literally always turn up. Like it is our favorite show for a reason. And every time I think I'm going to have set a new record at another show, SAC Anime is like, hold my beer and just blows us out of the water every time. We had definitely by the last couple of hours broken the record for Midsummer Scream. And I thought that we had like maybe just met it but when I did the calculations in the car on the way home, like we had broken the record. So thank you guys so much. And by Sunday morning, no, by Saturday evening, I had already handed out all of my YouTube viewers stickers and I, I, I've already gotten into everything so I can't show footage, but I got so many gifts from you guys and just, it's always amazing to see you. So without further ado, here's the pie chart and it's the best SAC anime pie chart I've ever seen. We did manage to keep our expenses a little lower um, on the food end because we weren't really eating lunch. Ryan's been dieting and sometimes at conventions in the like higher stress situations, I don't usually eat and I'll wait until dinner. So that's kind of how that happened. And as you saw, we went to Kura twice. So uh, we did <laughs> splurge a little bit, but yeah, everything else was pretty on par. So it, it, it's probably now my favorite pie chart. So that's very exciting. So as the year is dragging on, we are almost done with our conventions for the year. Our last one this month is Lodi Comic Con Fall. That is the last Saturday of September, 
and it's a one-day show, so it'll be easy. So we're off in October, and then in November we have a couple of back-to-back -back shows. But I will post my con schedules on Instagram for you guys to see. Um, otherwise, I am just finishing up the makeover in the studio. As you can see, we're obviously in the finished corner of my uh, desk area. But next week will be the final studio makeover vlog where I do a full tour of everything all completed and show you around and how I've done everything. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm going to sign off and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.